Hello and welcome to another tutorial with Roaring Records. Today I want to talk about filters, cutoffs, and how LFOs or low frequency oscillators can be used to make these things happen on the fly. So um, if you haven't seen the Equalizer Basics video yet and you don't know your terminology for your equalizer parts, I suggest watching that one first and then come back to this one so it makes a little bit more sense. But I have a uh, synthesizer pad here called Drifting in Hyperspace that is a very good wide spectrum sound that we can actually do a lot of playing with. So here's the sound in its native basic form. <laughs> Again, a pretty full spectrum sound. There's a lot happening there at all the different frequency levels. So it gives us a lot to play with. So if we open our equalizer, which is right here in our uh, track inspector, then we'll notice that there are two grayed out things. Uh, we learned before that these are called filters. So if I turn this filter on, and I begin to move it as the sound plays, you'll see that this filter takes out anything that is higher than the filter. So this would be a high cut or low pass filter. Things above it get cut out, things below it pass through. So here's the sound as I begin to manipulate that filter. <laughs> So you can kind of see the different effects that that is having on the sound by removing the treble. The same thing would kind of happen with this one, except on this side, you're not uh, removing treble, you're removing bass, and this would be a high pass filter or a low cut. Well, oftentimes this one gets referred to in other like synths and plugins as a cut off. So this idea is what would be happening in a cut off. So let me show you where that would be. If I was to look in Alchemy, which is my actual synthesizer right now, then my cut off menu is right here. And you'll hear it has a very similar effect when I play the sound to the filter. <laughs> So, the cutoff in different um, plugins would be a similar to thinking of a, a high cut or um, low pass filter. You can also go in to your plugin menu and select things like auto filtering. So, here again, we see our cutoff uh, range you begin to be able to, very similar to what we just did in the synthesizer, adjust the cutoff filter. Okay, it's really neat. I, I really dig this tool. But there's another menu right here that talks about the LFO. And LFO stands for Low Frequency Oscillation. So what this is going to allow to happen, if we turn up our LFO percentage, we're actually going to be able to have the cutoff percentage function with a low frequency sound wave. So imagine that you had a triangle wave that was set to go up and down, much like what this would look like right here. And as the sound played, the cutoff moved in and out based on that. Let me show you what that would sound like. So 
So you're actually hearing the sound come all the way in from 100% and go all the way out um, to 0%, which is pretty neat. But what if we wanted that to happen a little bit faster? Well, then you could use this rate. So right now it's happening once every measure. So it's going out and then back in once every measure. So we can turn it up, and I'll adjust it along the way. So this is every half note, and you'll hear it cycle, and I'll keep adjusting it as we go. So you can also change the wave form, the shape of the wave that is being created for the low frequency oscillator and get lots of different effects. But all of this is playing off that basic filter idea, how that filter is moving. You're just automating when that filter slides in and when that filter slides out. Um, I hope this was interesting and you can see that there are a lot of different cool uses for filtering cutoffs and low frequency oscillators. Low frequency oscillators can be applied to lots of different things, but this is just one being applied to a filter. Uh, enjoy! <laughs>